In our last video, we successfully fetched data from the JSON placeholder API and displayed it in our UI. In this video, we will explore how to implement a loading state while our data is being fetched in the background. To add a loading state, we will need to introduce a new state variable. Let's name it EaseLoading with the setter function setEaseLoading and the initial value set to true. Once our data has been fetched, we will update the state to false. In our fetch data function, right after invoking set postlist function, we will call set is loading and set it to false. Now, based on the value of is loading, we will conditionally render a loading spinner. Start by importing the activity indicator component from React Native. Then, just before the return statement, add if is loading return a safe area view with style is equal to styles dot loading container. The activity indicator with size is equal to large and color, any color you want to. I've gone with blue. And then the text loading. Let's also define the styles for this loading container. We will set flex to one, a background color, padding top, status bar dot current height, justify content, center, align items, center as well. We want the loading indicator right in the center of our screen. If we now save the file and head back to the UI, with iPhone in focus, press R to refresh, you will briefly see the loading indicator. Given that the API is quite fast, the loading state might not be visible for long. To better visualize the loading UI during longer API response times, you can temporarily comment out set is loading to false. You can see the loading indicator and the loading text. This is the UI a user would see while data is being fetched in the background. As you can see, implementing a loading state for network requests in React Native is straightforward and enhances the user experience. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.